guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com, coming at you from the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And today I want to talk about Patreon, but first, please go to Sorgatron.com. Please sign up for the newsletter, hear about all the things going on, all the podcasts we got through the week, and all the uh, webinars, lunch and learns that we're uh, trying to uh, come up with uh, during the next uh, couple of months here. Uh, we're doing some audio podcasting uh, introductions uh, if you want to join us for the lunch and learn up at work hard, or if you want to join us on the webinar here in a couple weeks, uh, I have a lot of fun teaching a, a, a similar course over at PodCamp Pittsburgh, and I'm looking to kind of flesh it out a little bit more and give you guys uh, hopefully a nice toolkit to get you guys started on your own podcast. If there's a you know a little bit of a a, 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 a hesitation, but let's get into it. So Patreon, you guys know I uh, support Patreon. I'm supported by Patreon and my patrons uh, for a couple of shows, um, modestly at least. Uh, we're, we're we're getting a little bit of traction, and it's it's pretty cool. We actually have uh, some patrons that join us for a Wrestling Mayhem show, as well as Awesome Cast, uh, which are you know kind of our flagship shows. And um, it's it's a pretty good model. If you're not familiar with it, it's like Kickstarter, but for more than just one go at it, right? Like Kickstarter, you set a goal of we need. Uh, so much money to make this thing, and we hope you can help us raise it, and we, we'll give you something for it, right? Patreon is a little more fan funding than it is crowdsourcing, I guess. Uh, it's saying, hey, I'm, uh, the you know, Wrestling Man Show's creating a show a week, right? And we would like you to help and, and pledge X amount, whatever that may be, that you want to give for each show that we put out. And, and you kind of put the disclaimer, hey, we're going to put out a show a week, or maybe you can give X a month or something like that. And uh, and it seems to work out pretty good for some people, some more than others. The biggest example uh, that I am aware of um, is the Daily Tech News Show by Tom Merritt. And actually, actually, there's a lot, there's a couple of things that he does that are very well supported by Patreon. But again, he's somebody that, if you're not familiar, uh, Tom Merritt has been a radio and podcast guy, uh, host, producer, whatever the case may be, for well over 10 years, at least on the podcast side that I'm aware of. And of course, a lot longer, I think, being involved with radio, if I, if I recall. So he has a bit of a fan base, as he used to do Buzz Out Loud, uh, the tech news today with uh, Twit. Uh, Buzz Out Loud, of course, was CNET at the time, which would be the biggest of the endeavors, probably. And... And, and I'm somebody who's followed him from endeavor to endeavor, and I it's turned into like, yeah, I like this guy reading me the tech news, basically. Uh, and uh, that's that's you know, so he has people who have followed him throughout that journey, and now like that he's independent, he can put up a Patreon page and say, I don't know what to do, so I'm just starting a show like I've always been doing, uh, him himself in his house doing this thing. And he's able to go on Patreon and and say, hey, if you like this and you want to support it, please do. I, I myself give, a, a, I think, a buck a month or something like that to it. Because it is something I want to be part of the process. It, it, hey, if I want people to give me money for Patreon, I need to play the game too. And I need to support the things that I enjoy. And it works very well for him. He's had uh, articles written about him in this process. And, and he's, it's definitely one of the success stories. Um, he currently has... 4,952 patrons, almost 5,000 people are giving a couple bucks to him. Uh, and that is, that is apparently around $16,000 a month, a month. Now that doesn't all go in his pocket or anything. He has other people help him out. He actually got to this point where, uh, some of their milestone goals were to get regular contributors and co-hosts and i would imagine they're paying these contributors and co-hosts in this in this regard so they actually have a different contributor uh every day so it's more than just the one guy talking about things and getting guests uh random guests whatever he can get or pretty much being by himself so that's really worked out really well and and, and they've, they've even stretched it out that uh they're at, at eight, eight, eighteen thousand a month they're going to try to do a uh a weekend edition from a fellow i think from australia that's awesome and uh, they, they, for 50000 they want to take this show on the road and schedule events. And uh, that, that's worked out pretty well for, for them so far. And he has another one, Cord Killers, that does very well. I think about 2,000 people pledged to that. Uh, and, of course, Sword and Laser is a long-running uh, show that he does with Veronica Belmont, currently of Engadget. 
And uh, that's done very well as as well. And, you know, again, these are people with a lot of stake, a lot of fan base to do that. Now for Wrestling Mayhem Show, for for Awesome Cast, uh, we're we're bringing in, and this is all on the page. It's nothing, you know, I'm, I'm disclosing or anything like that. We have a total of uh, six patrons, and we get about $60 a month at this point. And that's before all the fees and some credit cards don't go through, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's it's it doesn't sound like much, but... I, I came to the realiza- realization because I think this is the first month or second month where we've had uh, a couple of these patrons on here. And they're gaining. Slowly, slowly they're gaining. And they're all, for the most part, very familiar faces to us, for the most part, that we know are p- participants in the show in one manner or sometimes surprise participants. And uh, if nothing else, like that's a, hey, we're cash flow positive as far as this, other than the time that we put into this. But uh, thankfully, it's something that we're passionate about. But uh, my expenses are going to be covered at this point. I can pay for the server. I can pay for, uh, you know, other things. Maybe I can start moving things over to Libsyn and paying for that and having better stats so I can I can kind of have a better presence and, and have a better strategy around everything, right? Uh, we can pay for equipment here as that builds up a little bit. I mean, not only so much at 60 bucks a month. I mean, you know, we're not buying a, a $90 webcam off of one of those after we do all the other stuff. But uh, but still, and, and, and eventually I would like to get to the point where, uh, you know, kind of the dream is that the podcasts are self-sufficient and actually an income for myself and my and my hosts and i don't know we're 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 kind of figuring out a way to maximize our small but mighty fan base we don't have you know uh, probably 16,000 people uh, uh, listening to us but we probably have a couple of thousand listening to us uh, all all around and what can you do with that you can't really go to advertisers as easily but there are ways you can do that um, to 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 have them give a little bit of money, and I know we're I know we're not going to get like a ton ton of money out of this uh, for for the podcasting that we do. Uh, other than you know trying to get the fan base up, and we're growing the fan base all the time, and we have a very passionate fan base. You know so much though that I mean, look, six people are parting with their money for a thing we do on this microphone. You know, talking about wrestling and technology. You know, I, I think that's really special. No matter how many people you have, if you have uh, two, five, ten, whatever the case may be, I think it all matters. It all definitely matters. And uh, and, and of course, if you're just a person started a thing, unless it's a great idea, you you have to work the Patreon. And that's one thing I'm trying to figure out how to kind of invigorate people to get on board with it. Um, you know, we kind of had this idea. I was talking. I got pulled into. I got pulled into being a guest speaker uh, at the last minute, like a literally last minute. Like they came over and said, "Hey, can you come over and talk to us about podcasting uh, for uh, a group of um, um, actually like like NPR people, uh, the local NPR people for the most part, radio people, and just to talk about what I do, how I do it, and, and kind of comparing it with their thoughts because a lot of them like do podcasting and, and radio and everything, and very big into sound and, and you know uh, sound sound engineering and design and and and, and telling stories." And, um, and like the one idea I was like, well, I actually talked about Patreon and they're like, well, that's, a, that's actually a lot like public radio because I mean like, yeah, so it was like, you know, we, we don't have like, uh, 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 you know, pledge drives or anything like that. Like PBS does, you know, but then I started thinking maybe we should, you know, maybe there is a little something we can do, but I, I don't know. I think for the most part, there's putting that little bit at the beginning of the shows like we do, like Daily Tech News Show does, and say, hey, man, don't you want to support the show? Are you digging it? You know, you know, you can give us money. That's cool. Uh, it's also cool if you don't, just please tell somebody about us, you know? And that's also really important, too, that they're sharing uh, what you're doing. And I, that's really important when uh, they love what you're doing so much that they are sharing with other people and helping that community grow a little bit, right? So, which it does, it does kind of go like, get, I, I want to do a fun video now where it is like myself and one of my co-hosts, I mean, we green screen something and we're in a call center and do a little bit of a fan, uh, you know, fan pledge drive for our Patreons or, or something like that. Uh, but you also have to be, um, like I said, you need to work it into your social media. You need to work it into your community. You need to talk about it. You need to push it. You need to sell it, you know, beyond, Hey, we're doing the show. Can't you help us here? Um, and, and do it in inventive ways and, and try to have. Try to figure out levels that 
get people interested in giving you money above and beyond just, hey, we love your thing. Hey, we love your thing could be like, hey, I'm, uh, hey I'll toss you a penny, whatever. Or, hey, I'll toss you a buck. Okay. But, uh, you know, for us, like I've kind of worked this into this interesting de facto advertising system. Nobody's really bid on it yet, but um, but, I mean, but I, I'm putting it out there just to kind of see what happens as an experiment. So for us, like, you know, for, for a higher amount, you know, hey, we'll do an ad for you and start working with you for this. Um, but I've also been doing something where, and I got this idea completely from, I, I can't remember what other show I was listening to. It was probably Core Killers or something, where uh, five bucks per episode, if you do that for like four weeks, we're going to send you business cards. You're an executive producer, and we're going to send you that. And and also an idea I got from uh, No Agenda. If you're very interested in how crowdfunding works and how other people are doing it, look for Ace Detect on Patreon. Look for Cord Killers on Patreon, Sword and Laser on Patreon. This is all basically a Tom Merritt kind of trio of shows. But also take a look at No Agenda. I, and I believe they're at noagendashow.com. It's kind of a conspiracy theory sort of uh, uh show but uh they've been doing this crowdfunding thing before patreon was a thing and they have this very interesting knighthood program it's kind of where i got the idea of the executive producers uh from too so there's like this knighthood thing where will give you this label when you've given so much to the show and then there's a knighthood layaway plan that's very interesting as well so go check that out no agenda show um so let me know what you think, Patreon. Do you think you can work it into your thing? Do you need help working, figuring out how Patreon would work for the thing you're creating? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Follow everything at Sorgatron.com. I have my blog up there and in the newsletter on Friday, if I don't forget again. Uh, it was a busy day last Friday. <laughs> and uh, if you'd seen the pictures, we talked to a very fun uh, Pittsburgh legend actually here. And I uh, hope to have uh, together in a documentary in the next year or so. Um, but uh, but thank you for everybody uh, supporting everything. Thank you to my patrons, the uh, the Matt and Jen Carlin's. Uh, oh, I forget what they call it, the support fund or something like that. Uh, that's helping us out. Uh, but thanks everybody, and uh, see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.